Hey, here's a quick tip on how to use Tulip to do QR code scanning, and really any barcode scanning at all, using a mobile device and the camera on it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is just make an app. We're going to call it QR code. And you can access these applications from, if you have an Android phone, you can download the, the Tulip app, uh, the Tulip player, uh, directly from the Google Play Store. Or if you have an iPhone, you can just go to your instance.tulip.co slash player. And that's what I'm going to do now on my phone here. So I'm just going to log in to, uh, I've already logged in. I'm just going to select this app, so QR code. And here we go. And you'll notice that on my screen, it's not formatted correctly. Uh, it looks a little, uh, doesn't have the right resolution. So what we're going to do is just go to the app settings here, change this to mobile portrait, and suddenly I can have an app. And what I can do is I can drag anything I want to the screen, and it's really neat. It's just going to show up in real time on my on my phone, which is just always pretty fun. So what we're going to do is make a QR code scanner. So uh, the phone in your camera, the the camera in your phone is uh, connected to Tulip. So we can just drop here a a barcode scanner and put this on the center of the screen. And then what we can do here is, you know, these are all the barcode types you can recognize. And if you want to, you know, improve its its readability is actually really good at reading codes, but you can just select just the kind you want. So I could uncheck these. Anyway, QR code is what we want to do, and what's going to happen is basically we'll just scan a code and have it show up as a variable within Tulip. So we'll put a variable here on the screen, and what we can do is just change this variable to be like scanned code. And this is going to be a text value, okay? And then what we'll do here is when a trigger happens, so when a machine or device, in this case, when the device, which is the optical barcode scanner, outputs at the station and the barcode appears, so save barcode, what we'll do, or QR code, QR code, what we'll do here is just data manipulation. We're going to store the device output, the barcode appeared, the text, into the variable scanned code and that's all we're gonna do and now the phone or when I hover over something you can see I can just look at some stuff I'm gonna go to this QR code generator website and just type in you know anything this is my value and as I scan over here it should recognize there you go this is my value so it pulled that directly up uh, what we can also do is um, use Tulip to create QR codes so that's very simple. What we can do is just uh, embed a barcode and put it here. And the data source can be, you know, anything you want, static value. Let's make this static value a text and say some thing. And you can see it's generating a barcode here. This could be any kind of code you want, including a QR code. So you can use Tulip to generate the QR codes, and you can use Tulip to retrieve the QR codes and use them in your applications. Thanks.